I'd like to share my experience using a large Creality 3D printer enclosure with my Ender 6 3D printer in a cold environment and a cold garage that is sometimes damp. So I moved some stuff around in the garage and I found a spot for it. It's a mess right now, but I'll get that picked up. Anyway, I don't know what the temperature is, but I can see my breath and it's usually about 10 to 12 degrees higher than outside. I've had the Ender 6 printer for about a year now, but I've kind of put it away because I had issues with it running properly. Well, the people at the Creality website helped me get it up and going, and now it works. So I got this uh, large enclosure. I built it, and it's just way too large for inside. So I took it out into our garage, and I just wanted to show you how it did, because our garage is not exactly the environment for 3D printing, that's for sure. Here's the website I purchased it from. You may want to wait for it to go on sale because things frequently do on here, it seems. Here's the instructions for putting it together. You just snap together these aluminum pipes for the frame, put the cover on. It is compatible with most of your large Ender printers. And as you can see, it comes in small, medium, and large. In this video, I'll be using the large, and it's 900 millimeters tall, which is just under three foot. Let's go ahead and turn it on and let it warm up a little bit. You'll notice that I took the side panels off. The Ender 6 comes with side panels, making it partially enclosed. So I took them off when I put it in here. If you look over here on the left, on the bottom, you can see the outdoor sensor for my lacrosse weather station. I use this to monitor the temperature inside. Now it's going to be warmer up top of the uh, enclosure, uh, but uh, it's, it does a good job of monitoring the temperature for me. As you can see, there's plenty of space in this enclosure. It doesn't come close to touching the top. There is an opening here in the back where I keep the power cord. There's also a Velcro opening on the top for access and on the left side, and I don't intend on using them because once you start using Velcro, it starts to fall apart over time. Once I wipe down the bed with isopropyl alcohol and make sure the nozzle is clean, I'm going to go ahead and set the temperature of the nozzle to 210 and then the bed to 50 because that's what it works best at. I'm going to give the printer time to warm up the environment because the extruder won't send the filament through unless it's in a warmer environment. So we're just going to close it up and let it warm up. The outdoor section on the left is actually the temperature inside the enclosure at 5 o'clock. Once the indoor display tells me my enclosure has reached 57 degrees, I take the nozzle temperature down to zero and I level the bed and to prepare the printer to start to print. For this print, I'm going to set the nozzle to 210 and the bed to 50. After it's printed for a little bit, I come back and I see that it has a really good first layer on the bed. So I'm pretty happy with that and I'll let it continue. It's been going now for about an hour and still no mistakes, no apparent mistakes. Here we are at 3 hours and 52 minutes. And I have to shine a light through the front of the enclosure, which isn't ideal. I'd like to implement some Arduino so I can monitor this a lot easier. So you may see some of those videos in the near future. It's just a little bit past midnight and the temperature in the enclosure is 63 degrees with 33% humidity. And the outside temperature outside the house is 25 degrees with 88% humidity. And I didn't start the print until 8.30 so we're 4 hours in. So, so far it's uh, 10 hours, 4 minutes overnight, and the print still looks pretty good. No, uh, no mess ups, no flaws, so pretty happy with that so far. It's now 7.30 and the temperature inside the enclosure is 62.1 with 31% humidity, and outside the house it is 27 degrees, 27.9, 87% humidity. So it's been pretty cold all night and it's done a really good job of keeping the temperature right around 62 to 63, 63 and a half degrees. So I'm pretty happy with that. And the garage was actually pretty cold too. I should have put a thermometer there now that I think about it. Well now it's all done and it took about 11, 11 and a half hours, something like that. Here it is. Let's take it off the bed and look at it under some light. Well here's the final product and it's not perfect but it's, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, these little marks could easily be filled and sanded and buffed out and painted and you would never even know they're there. But the important thing is that yes, this enclosure does a great job of keeping and maintaining a temperature for printing. I don't know that I could have done this if the garage were any colder. I, I'm willing to bet it was in the upper 30s. It was pretty cold. So if you're on the fence about whether or not this, this is appropriate for you to buy, well, here's the video and hopefully it was helpful. If you found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up give it a like, and share it with somebody else who may find it helpful. And I'll see you again very soon with another awesome video.